Hey guys, so what we're going to talk about today is a little weird and maybe a little awkward for some people to talk about, but for first time duck owners or even experienced duck owners who haven't had this problem before, today we're going to talk about um, a problem that some drakes get, which is the male duck, um, during the breeding season or sometimes even off season, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, from either too much breeding or too little breeding, like this is our head drake that this happened to, so the drake that gets the most action, uh, one could say. He's having some problems getting his boy bits back up into him. So, um, many people don't know this, but a duck penis can be like, what, eight inches long? There's about three inches hanging out still. Um, and what we're going to do to treat this to try and help him get it back into his body um, is we're going to do a quick Epsom salt bath, which is going to be a 20 minute soak in the bathtub. Uh, I apologize for the lighting in here. We're in the, uh, the basement bathroom. Uh, anyways, um, this Epsom salt bath is going to help kind of relax the muscles and sanitize-ish because we want to get it clean. It's been out for like a day and it's covered in dirt and gross and um, so we're just trying to sanitize and then after the Epsom salt bath we're going to apply iodine to it. Um, so this is going to be kind of hard to film. I'm going to go outside catch a duck. Uh, what you're going to need for this is going to need a bag of Epsom salt or a box of Epsom salt. Uh, it's magnesium sulfate and we're going to need about, uh, I'm going to go with like three fourths of a cup for about half a bathtub. For people, when people take an Epsom salt bath, it's usually two cups for a full bathtub. I'm only going to fill this up halfway um, because it's just one duck and I don't really want to waste the water. And then when he's done with that bath, I'm going to rinse him off and then we are going to put on a, cover up the brand, uh, an iodine solution, which is a disinfectant used on wounds. And the reason we want to do this is because we don't want it to get infected. Another thing is, is that um, it could dry up. Actually, people have had problems where it dries up and then they have to cut the piece off. We don't really want to do that. Right. Sorry about that. The, uh, the video cut out. Uh, the other thing that we're going to need is a towel. And this is just because uh, he's a big drake. He is a Peking duck. He is about eight to ten pounds. Uh, when I worked at a uh, wildlife rescue uh, kind of rehabilitation center, this is what we would use to catch geese. And you basically just fold it over their wings, and it's so they can't uh, injure their wings at all. Ducks are a lot more fragile than chickens, where you can just like pick up a chicken by its legs. Um, it doesn't work that way with ducks, um, especially such a big duck. He's like a He'd probably be the size of a small goose, like a Canadian goose, just with a shorter neck. He's pretty big. Um, and I'm not going to be able to show you guys the video of me catching him just because I don't have someone to film it for me. But I will show you when he gets in here, um, the way I'm holding him with the towel. And then I'll, you know, I'll show you all this lovely stuff. Alright, um, thanks for sticking with us this far, and I will go get our Peking Drake. Just like this. Whoa, easy. Okay. So you want to tuck the wings underneath like this. And the way you want to be supporting a duck this size is right underneath the stomach. Um, if he's really stressed, cover his face with the towel. Uh, yeah, it's a good boy. Okay. So he shouldn't be able to get out of there just because he's rather large. And that's how you transport a duck. <laughs> A very nervous duck. Okay, so for our boy, we are... Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Yeah, I know, it's very stressful. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so I've cleaned out the tub prior to this, and I'll just be using a regular plug to plug up the drain. I hadn't filled the tub yet, because uh, I wanted him in here first before I did anything really. Um, and the water is going to be kind of warm, but not crazy. Are you getting mad at me? Huh? Um, so... 
It's going to be on the more room temperature side of warm. And I'm going to let him uh, kind of stay in the clean water before I add any Epsom salt, just to kind of be the first rinse, and I'm sure he's going to drink some of it. So I'd rather him get that out of his system before we add the Epsom salt. So what I wound up doing was I filled it up more than I had intended just because he's tall and I didn't realize how tall he was. But I need him to be able to soak in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to soak him for about 20 minutes with Epsom salt. And you can just see his feet are barely touching the ground. Like he could really flap around if he... He could really flap around if he wanted to. I was trying to keep the water level low so he wouldn't feel the need to, you know, swim or anything in it, but um, that was not the case. He is not going to soak in it unless I keep it this high. So this is about the water level we're doing, which is almost completely full, and I'm going to up the amount of Epsom salt that I'm going to put in. So our poor boy George here has been in the tub now with the Epsom salt for about 20 minutes. I probably let him soak about 10 minutes before that and just clean water. And now what we're going to do is rinse him off. Um, as you can see, well, you can kind of see it. He got the tub a little dirty because ducks poop. That's what they do. Um, and we're just going to rinse him off so that there's no extra like salt clinging to him and so that it doesn't dry out uh, the problem even more. So you can kind of see the problem here. I'm not going to get much closer than that. Uh, if you really want to see a picture of something like that, go on Google. Was, I'm sure you can find something. Um, but that is what a prolapsed penis looks like on a duck, in case anyone was wondering. You're watching this video, so for some reason some of you were wondering. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to uh, thoroughly rinse him off. I'm going to make sure to get underneath and all around. And he actually seems to be enjoying this bit quite a bunch. This next piece is just me putting some iodine on a piece of tissue and then applying it to the area that is affected. Sorry, buddy. Oh, turn around. Oh, so sorry. So now that the uh, iodine's on, I'm just going to let him sit here for a little bit, kind of dry himself off a tad. Hope he doesn't poop long enough for uh, the iodine to work because you missed it. The first time, the time that I showed you me applying it, uh, he pooped like five seconds later. So I had to put another thing on after washing him off again. It's just what ducks do. Ducks poop. Um, so we are going to have to wait a little bit. And hopefully the iodine works a little. So under regular circumstances, we would be taking um, him and putting him in a separate pen all on his own. Um, just because you need him to stay kind of clean. Um, eventually what we're going to be doing within a couple of days, probably four days from now, um, We'll have everything ready so that we can set up a pen for him and there's what they tell you to do when this happens is to have hay all over the ground so uh, they don't get like dirt particles up in there and other stuff and you want to keep it like really clean and he needs to be off the ladies for about three months ish so that is what mr george has in store for him and uh, i'm gonna take him back out and put him back with the flock for now um Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions about this or any comments for me, any suggestions, please put them down below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.